My name is Cynthia Ritchie, and it is Friday, June the 5th at approximately 6, 11 p.m. I do apologize for being a bit, um, again, good evening, everyone. It's uh, my apologies for running just a little bit late and having a, a few minor te technical difficulties. Uh, Friday, June the 5th at approximately 6, 12 p.m. Pakistan, uh, standard time. It has been uh, quite an interesting past several days for me, and I want to share with you, I want you to hear from my voice exactly what has been uh, taking place. Um, as you may or may not be aware, there has been a bit of a battle between me and the People's Party, the PPP of Pakistan. The reason they claim is because I posted a tweet that was allegedly defamatory in nature regarding the late Benazir Bhutto. Let me be uh, very clear, uh, as a woman, as a human being, I have never, nor do I currently, nor do I ever intend to have any interest in defaming anyone, especially a woman or an individual of that belongs to what may be perceived as a vulnerable population. I have had uh, many pleasant, wonderful experiences here in Pakistan, my second home, but I have also had some very negative experiences in Pakistan. And tonight I intend to share a bit about that uh, with you. I will reserve some of the more graphic details because I do understand that a lot of my viewers uh, may be underage. So I would encourage anyone under the age of 18 or any adults to not allow children to listen to this uh, particular transmission because I will be including information of a more uh, sensitive uh, nature. The harassment that I have endured uh, primarily from the People's Party has taken place for a number of years now. And for those of you who may not be familiar, I would encourage you to go back to my previous live video that I posted approximately three weeks ago detailing the past 10 years of my experience in Pakistan, condensing it in about 10 minutes, which is admittedly not very easy to do. I have been in and out of Pakistan since uh, 2009. I shifted here end of 2010, and I was invited here by the PPP, by the People's Party, when Zadari was President, Prime Minister Ghilani, Interior Minister Rahman Malik, and the federal minister at the time, Maktoum Shahobuddin. Initially, things were quite pleasant. I was very well facilitated. Uh, I had no idea of the political battle that was taking place or has been had been taking place between Pakistan Tariqi Asaf, PPP, PMLN, etc. And because I had been assisting PTI gratis on my own time with their social media strategies back in late 2010 and 2011. I learned uh, eventually that PPP was trying to draw me away from PTI. Again, please reference my previous video on this that I posted three weeks ago as it goes into a bit more detail. Tonight, I want to focus more on uh, the allegations that are being leveled against me by PPP and the horrendous treatment messages, phone calls that I have gone through. This battle is really not about that tweet. This battle is really about individuals who know that I have a lot of dirt on a lot of people in this country. And it's primarily those who use and abuse others, particularly women and vulnerable populations. And I am one of them. Again, I will not go into graphic detail at this point in time, but 
please be assured, everything that I have posted, everything that I have discussed on Twitter, I have evidentiary support of and for. Now, since Friday of last week, I have also filed an FIR, or excuse me, um, a report with the FIA. I am in direct contact with the uh, Director General. And I have also asked that the previous investigator that PPP filed a report for, filed a report with, be replaced. Because when I went to meet him with an individual who also happens to be a diplomat, this investigator was neither neutral nor was he reasonably pleasant. He was extraordinarily aggressive with me. So I need for you all to know that I have, in all confidence and in good faith, done my duty as a resident here in Pakistan by following the letter of the law. I will also share with you, as many of you already know on Twitter, I have received countless threats against my life, rape threats, uh, claims that PPP has my father, uh, I have had diplomats listen to several of the most inhumane calls one could ever receive. We have numerous voice recordings, text messages, screenshots, including from those who claim to be PPP supporters from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates. And at this point in time, I do wish to express my gratitude to the government of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, as well as the UAE, for handling the individuals who have been harassing me from those locations, using those numbers in a very timely and efficient manner. I will, at a point in time of my choosing, go into more detail with the media as it relates to who I am. PPP is trying to stir up a lot of controversy, including the former Senator Ms. Sahar, if I'm pronouncing her name correctly. She wrote an open letter to the DGISI, the Foreign Office, etc., which was on apparently stationary that she, she should not be using. But interestingly enough, all of these in individuals who are making or leveling allegations against me have blocked me and refuse to gauge in conversation with me. If you had nothing to hide, why are you blocking me? Why are these men who claim to be part of the most democratic and forward-thinking party in Pakistan sending me rape messages, dick pictures, ejaculation pictures? Why are these men threatening to rape me? Why are they asking for my location? I'll tell you why. Because in 2011, I was raped by the former interior minister, Rahman Malik. That's right. I'll say it again. I was raped by the then interior minister, Rahman Malik. I was physically manhandled by the federal health minister, Makhdoum Shobadin, and the prime minister, Yusuf Ghilani, while he was staying at the president's house. I will be happy to go into more detail with the appropriate, neutral, investigative journalists. I have already shared this story with a handful of people whom I trust in case, God forbid, something happens. But I want the world to know. For all the young girls out there, for all the women who have been harassed assaulted by men, for all the boys who have been harassed or assaulted, for those members belonging to the third gender who have been forced into a lifestyle that they don't want, who have been harassed, who have been a rape, who have been raped. This is for you. For those who I've met who have not had the privilege that I have, who don't have the voice that I have. This is for you. I will no longer tolerate, no longer tolerate anyone 
who touches me inappropriately, who stares at me in a grotesque manner. And if I ever see another man harming or insulting a vulnerable person again, especially in this country, I assure you, I will do everything in my power to make sure you receive the full justice that you deserve. And so I'm now, and so now I'm ready. PPP, you have attacked me for too long. You have created false accounts, trying to research my family, getting information from my sisters who naively had no idea who they were talking to, and then leaking deeply personal family information on Twitter. You think I don't have contacts in the United States. You think I don't have contacts here or elsewhere to be able to track and trace what you are doing. For those who have called me a bitch because I have dared to stand up to you, you haven't seen nothing yet.